All right, we're going to be resizing a ring here. First thing we do is we're starting with a open slate. There's nothing on here. We need to open up the file. So you go into File, Upper Left Hand tab, click File, hit Open. And on the desktop, there's a folder called CAD Files Shortcut. You can see it right there. Double click on that, that's where all of the files are located. And on the upper left hand corner, there's a folder called 3DM Matrix Files. You'll double click on that and look for the file that we're looking for. In this case, it's a WGFR50. So they're all in alphabetical or numerological order. Select you can either drag this bar back and forth or you can click and advance a page at a time. We're looking for WGFR50, which will be right here. Double click on that. There's the file. Double click on the file as well. And that will open it up in the matrix. The first thing we want to do in this through finger um, viewport click right on the inside of the ring you will see a window pop up and it'll tell you if the finger rail is turned on it'll show you that this ring is a size 7 now if the finger rail is turned off it, all it's going to do is select the ring so you want to make sure that the finger rail is turned on click and you can see that this is a size 7 okay so we need to make a size 6 an 8 and a 9 the first thing we'll do is go over in the Tools tab and select the Ring Resizer. What that will do is open up this box down here. Let's uh, erase all this. Okay, so we'll grab our original ring and we'll put it in the model box. And what that does is automatically reads the rings uh, rail and it'll tell you the original ring size is a 7. Okay, So we need to go up here and make sure that our grid snaps are turned off, our ortho is turned off, and our grids are turned off. So everything here is clear and you don't have any controls here. Go into this box here and select the circle. What that'll do is it'll draw a circle. You want to line this up. You can see the, the image here. Line it up. If there's a stone, kind of at the, the midpoint of the stone, you can, you can draw them off to the side, but I like to draw it straight up and down. And just click about where the middle of the stone would be. Next, we need to draw a, a, a border line for the design. So if you click on this box, since symmetri or symmetrical is turned on, when I click this this first line to the left hand side of the center line it's going to automatically draw the right hand side so I just want to kind of go right to the edge of the design and click and there we go we have all three lines that we need the next thing we'll do is go into STL options and where it says maximum distance edge to surface the default on this is going to be 0 0.02. We want to change that to 0 0.001. Hit enter and then close that box. So now the next thing we need to do is select the output size. Again we want a size 6, an 8, and a 9. Now this piece, if we click on it here, notice up here it says that it's combined of 15 poly surfaces added to the selection. Well, those are all grouped so that you select it once and it's all grouped. So we have to remember to group those. So the first size we're going to do is a size 6. So we select a 6 and we hit resize. Now depending on the complexity of the model, this might take a few seconds. It might take up to a minute. Just uh, be patient with that. Okay, so while this is built already, it's selected, so we want to reach over and hit the F2 button, which is the group on this machine. So we group that, so now you don't have individual pieces, but they're grouped. 
So while that's selected, we'll set this into the metal 01 box, which is the darkest green. The little arrow, click on that, and that sets that color. The next one, since we already have a 7, we're going to make an 8. Select 8 in the output sizes and hit resize. Doesn't take long. And then there it is. While it's still selected in the purple color, make sure you group it. And we'll set this one in the metal 03 box. And then the last one would be a size 9. Go to the output sizes, select a 9, hit resize. Doesn't take long. There they are. While it's still selected, remember to group it. And on this one, we're going to set it in the metal 04 color, which is the lightest green. So if you notice, from dark green to light green, it's in, it's in ascending order. The darkest is a 6, then a 7, then an 8, then a 9. So now we have all of our sizes done. We want to go over and select the grid snap and the ortho. Make sure both of those are turned on so that we can grab these three rings and we'll drag them and you can see since the ortho is on it's staying in that same planer. So just drag until these rings are snapped right directly over the original ring and then let go. So now if you look all of the rings are lined up and centered all the sizes are there. So there we go. We have all of our sizes built and ready to either mill or grow.